Hello there, Algebra 1A, and welcome to Lesson 4.2. Today we're going to be graphing equations in slope-intercept form. Uh, so helpful to start out is what exactly is slope-intercept form, and we've really recognized it before. Those are equations in this here, y equals mx plus or minus b. That's what we call slope-intercept form. Get to know it because it is going to be a big part in our future. Um, m we're going to call our slope, which is also going to be known as the rise over run. And we call it intercept form as well because the B is the Y intercept. And that is going to be important when we start graphing them. It is of the form 0 comma B if you have a point on the graph. The basic steps to graph, I'm going to show you a few ways, but first, you're always going to plot the intercept, so the B, the y-intercept, two, use your rise over the run, which I'll explain, and three, connect the dots. It's really not too bad. Um, so we're going to go into some examples here, okay? Um, so a few ways to do this. First, if we were to use our connection or our steps above, um, first step is to plot the B value. So I'm going to highlight that here. In blue, this 3, that's the y-intercept. So what that means is we have the point 0, 3 on our graph. This is why we did graphing before. So we're going to plot that point. There it is, over 0, up 3. It's y-intercept because it crosses that y-axis. Now the five halves, I'm going to go in purple here. Five halves means you're going to go up five and two to the right, hence the rise over the run. That's what we call it. So from that point, we can go up five. One, two, three, up. Oh, actually, we went too far. So another way to think of this is actually down five to the left two. So we can think of it down five to the left. So a little curveball right off the bat here. So let me show you what's going on. So down five, one, two, three, four, five, to the left two, one, two. You're going to put a point right there. Okay. Once you have those two points, you can connect them either using a straight edge or um, now it's something to do your best to connect them with. And fortunately for me, I have this little tool, and there it is. There is the equation of the line. It gets a little tricky with rise over run, but we'll do some more examples and get you rolling. Um, one thing to note, okay, we're going to have positive and negative slopes that we get into if the slope is positive, so 5 halves, that's what we consider a positive m value, um, you're either going up and to the right or down and to the left. Let's take a look at 15. So 15 is another example. Here, it's kind of hard to see. There's an imaginary 1 in front of the x. So our steps. Plot the y-intercept. So 0, 5 is going to go on our graph. Our slope is 1, so the slope is 1 over 1, which means we can go up 1 to the right 1, or down 1 to the left 1. It's really the same direction, but just a little different. Okay, once you have those, do your best to connect them. And there's your graph, okay? When in doubt, let's go into the graphing calculator. So here's some tips in the graphing calculator. Um, notice closely, I'm going to hit this Y equals button, top left. You can kind of see me highlighting it here. Y equals. Clear out anything in your calculator if it's there. And you can type this equation in from intercept form. X, which is above the purple apps plus 5. Amazingly, you can hit the graph button, and there it is. 
Another thing you can do is once you have it graphed, you can do second graph. Second is the blue button to graph, and that's going to give you a table of all the points. So just like before, when we had a table of values, you could write down some of those points and then connect them. So we have 0 to 5, we knew about. Um, we have negative 1 and 4, and we have 1 and 6. You could plot each of those points to get an idea. Okay, let's look at two more here. Um, these are negative slopes. Negative is just a little different. So first step is the same. Going to plot that positive 2. With negative slopes, we have to go down... So it's negative 2 over 1 down and to the right or um, up and to the left. Okay? Um, down to the right, sorry, or up and to the left. Yeah, I had that right. So our thoughts here, down 2, 1, 2, to the right 1 would get us here. Down 2, to the right 1. Down two, to the right one, and so forth. Once you have enough, or up two to the left. Up two to the left. And you can connect those. Not the perfect line, but it's the right idea. And you have that there. You can erase these other little squigglies. They're a bit silly. Um, missed a point there, but that's the idea. And something like this here. So... Again, y-intercept is at negative 4. Highlight that in blue here again. So down 4 on the y-axis. And our slope. Let's be careful with the slope. So you can think of this in two ways. You can think of it as down 2. And to the right 3. Or you can think of it as this here in which you go up to to the left three if you need to write those little steps go for it um, i'm going to go down two and to the right three or up two to the left three so really two different ways to think about it um, when in doubt use your graphing calculator to check i'll run through that one more time y equals so y equals, these are the buttons on your calculator. Type in the equation, negative 2 thirds x minus 4. Hit graph. That gives you an idea of what direction it should be going. If you want, you can hit second and then graph. Second graph. That takes you into the table where you can plot values, okay? So those are graphs from y-intercept form. Um, you should be in decent shape to try out the rest of those. So 18, 19, 20, and 21, 22, and 23, okay? Check those answers, and good stuff, guys.